We're heading into our interview with Bradley Victor. He has a really unique job and he made a really big career change, so I'm excited to ask him about that. My name is Bradley Victor. I'm a structures mechanic here at Lockheed. I'm working in the F-16 production line. When I was young, I was always fascinated with planes, so I went back to school. I went to Greenville Tech and uh, did the aircraft maintenance program there. We got the apprenticeship here and uh, started working on F-16s. We're um, building the skeleton, if, if you want to call it, the, the um, support and the strength for the jet. I do um, the bulkheads, the skin of the airplane, everything that makes it aerodynamic, all the flight controls and stuff like that. That's kind of falls under my area. What goes on like day to day for you here? We're doing big things. All the F-16s were produced in Fort Worth, Texas, and we brought the assembly line here. And we beefed up the strength of the airplane, the technology, what it's capable of. It's a new plane for us, so it's really exciting to build the first one here. This is our home for production of the F-16. So I am uh, responsible for all the production that goes on in the building and make sure we roll these airplanes out on time. So we're right in the middle of the factory. So we're gonna build the aircraft in various stages. So you can see the cockpit is gonna begin to take shape. So we take everything from the bulkheads and all the structural components and we fasten them together, drill the holes, and then eventually we're gonna paint it as well. So eventually we'll produce four F-16s a month. This is what we call the mate station. We have the aft, the center, and the, the nose section. And we actually put all three of those together, kind of like some building blocks in there. Um, all the wiring and stuff is ran separate in each section. So we'll put it together. We'll make it strong structurally. And then we have our avionics side come in and connect all the harnesses and everything that um, makes the technology work throughout the airplane. And then we will transport it to this side where they'll put the landing gear on. And then from there, we're gonna do some test flights, hopefully early next year, and we'll have our first one out ready to go.